platform for a glimpse of your profile. I'd recognize you even after a while. You find you were fighting when the train crossed the river. It was your favorite part of the ride. I pretended I am flying, soaring with you. No, it could never come true. Break from all the things that I have to do with the rumbling and jolting. I pour out my feelings, something to show for. Hi, guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Violet, and in today's video, we are packing and going to Yorvikton. And basically, guys, I am so sorry that I haven't posted my lesson and week with Duke um, before posting this video, but there has been a slight change of plans and things were just so hectic that I just didn't have time to film any of it and our lesson was cut pretty short because it rained on, rained on us and I just didn't have enough content to pull, pull a video together. But yeah, we're just gonna pamper all of the horses now today and and then we're just gonna drive to Yorvikton and I'll see you guys. Um, I'm gonna probably do a voiceover. Yeah, I'm gonna do a voiceover whilst I'm bathing them and then I'll be back with you guys when I have bathed them all. Okay guys, voiceover Violet here and if you haven't guessed already, I started off with Duke and this is probably gonna be my last or one of my last rides with um, Duke because he is for sale. I'm not gonna be buying him. Um, I have had one nice event with him and we placed well and this is my, gonna be my last competition with him because as I said Stacy is selling him and I'm just basically um, helping her to get his experience on because she's not going to be able to attend this event that's why I'm going to be riding him but other than that he is for sale so if anybody's interested um, message me on my Instagram but I'll leave some d details below but yeah Stacy is selling him and um, and I'm gonna be sad to let his boy go because I've had so ma so many nice rides with him. But um, yeah, Stacy is selling him, so that's that. And after we have bathed Duke, I have moved on to Blaze, and Blaze is just a super sweet boy. He's not going anywhere. I bought him December last year. I mean, I bought him way before that, but I got him December last year. And um, ever since that, he has been my main competition horse. And he is basically invincible. He basically he jumps everything you point him to, basically. And he has given me lots of wins already on some shows that we haven't filmed. Um, um, on those we film, he doesn't do that great, but hopefully your victim will be his redemption because that's the last big event of the season. There are some smaller competitions and events, but none so big and complicated. But I'm, I am planning on entering those with the other horses. But yeah, when we have finished, I mean, when I finished with Blaze, I moved on to Beautiful Girl Shadow. So, if you haven't seen my last video, or was it the video before that, this is going to be Shadow's last event. Um, I will still go to some competitions with her. I'll still jump her big. She's not going to be retiring at all. She's going to be, she's just going to be retiring from the big events. Because next year I am planning to also take Crimson. And I'm gonna start introducing events to Lily and we're gonna start with the smaller ones but yeah Shadow is this is her last event 
me and her have done quite a lot of events together um, in the past two years that I've owned her and she has come a long way since then but um, you know she has done enough she is going to be 12 which is not old but um, I, I just I don't want to put her to, through that anymore and then we moved on to Mist being our last horse and our last grey and Mist I actually got this year also from an Olympic barn so basically it was a funny story um, I just went there to have a lesson to kind of do um, a luxury barn tour I also had a lesson with her and then uh, they were like oh, but yeah she's just for sale if you're interested and I was like yeah you know what I'm just gonna take her home with me and since then we've been competing quite a lot and she has done amazing but yeah she is great and that was all of our horses pampered and cleaned and now I'm gonna let um, past Violet talk to you guys um, whatever I said I don't remember anymore but let's just listen to that okay guys so I have now finally bathed all of the horses so the plan was actually for Stacy to bring Duke and clean him um, so with two greys it took a little longer than I expected but we're still on time because I woke up, woke up pretty early this morning just to get things together and now I'm gonna pop the horses into the trailer so we're gonna be starting off with Duke then we're gonna do Blaze, Shadow and lastly we're gonna do Mist so basically in the same order we've bought, I bought them and um, then we're gonna hit the drive I'm also gonna be filming that but I'm now gonna let voiceover Violet um, take over until we arrived and I do an outro with you because I do have to get things done and um, yeah let's just pop the horses into the trailer because otherwise we're gonna be late so yeah you may be wondering why I did not pack my things so basically I packed my things the day before we went just so I didn't forget anything that's also why I was in shorts and trainers because I really did, didn't want to forget anything but I, I know I'm, I wasn't gonna go on my white breeches but you never know and yeah then we popped all of the horses in but now I do want to talk a little bit about the results I um, I am expecting with the horses because editing this it's the no, it's the same day the same night um because I wanted to make my reactions real and stuff I didn't want to spoil anything so I am so I am editing this um in my hotel room but let's start with Duke so I think me and Duke will get a good result in dressage um, and I think show jumping will go really well as well but then I am a little bit scared about the cross country but last time it went okay so hopefully we can maintain that and secure our place then Blaze the only thing I am worried a little bit about with Blaze is dressage because he finds it a little bit boring and um I don't want any bronking or kicking because he wants to spice it up a little bit. Then cross country, I am a little bit skeptical because a lot of the time I do have to hold him back because he definitely wants me wants to take me to defenses. I don't have to fight him to get over and then show jumping, he is a, um, the master of that. So hopefully me and Blaze don't have any problems, but um, yeah. Then we have Shadow. So Shadow basically takes it nice and easy. Um, she loves her cross country and her jumping. She also does find dressage a little bit boring. But, um, but overall I am expecting 
to do well in short jumping and also in cross country. Maybe we get a fewer points for dressage because I have been working a little bit more on short jumping with her and um, hopefully that is enough to take her to take us in top i'm gonna say i do want to get in top 20 but top five would be over the top um awesome so lastly that leaves us with mist um so mist as i said i got from an olympic yard and I do believe that the dressage and choke jumping will go amazingly. She she hasn't done that much cross country since I've had her and even before that. So um, I don't know how that's going to go. So far it has been okay, but it could all change tomorrow. But they are using the Veildale Lake um, cross country course because it's like... 500 meters I want to say away from here it's not even that um, that far it's probably like 100 but I want to exaggerate so yeah um, and um, hopefully we as I said hopefully we place in top 20 with all four horses but I am really hoping to get in top five this time because we haven't had lots of that in um in our bigger events in the smaller ones yes but um i do want to get that big big win in one of the bigger events but nonetheless we finally arrived after i want to say three hours of driving obviously the video was really sped up and um yeah, I just wanted to kind of tell you yeah, what my expectations were and I guess we'll see how this goes in three days. I'm gonna be keeping you guys posted. I do promise you guys that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to edit the dressage vlog, the cross country vlog and the show jumping vlog the same days and post them the same days. Probably I'm gonna be posting some other videos in between but um, Or I'm just gonna post one video like every couple of days because those are gonna be Long ones to film which means even longer to edit But all the horses settled settled in fine um, So the Baroness's racetrack competition was my first competition with mist and that video got lots of you so i do recommend you watch it but yeah after the horses got settled in i basically went back to the hotel but before that i did film an outro that i'm gonna be showing you guys in just a quick second but yeah hopefully you're gonna be enjoying the vlog series and now i'm gonna okay guys so we have now arrived and um I am now sta standing um, in front of the Winnie, the, I'm now standing in front of my dream. So my dream is to stand on the top here and um, yeah, Eurovixen has been my dream to win. Hopefully we're going to be doing that um in three days which is gonna be literally my dream even if we get second or third with any of the horses i'm gonna be over the moon excited and happy and um yeah so um hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss my dressage cross country and show jumping days which are gonna be posted separately obviously i told you got told you that um probably a hundred times now but i can't believe it is happening tomorrow it's dressage day and if you have any further questions, you can message me on my Instagram, which is under Violet underscore Braveheart. I love chatting up with you guys. And um, hopefully you commented on this video because I do love and enjoy reading and replying to your comments. But hopefully you have a really, really good morning, day or night. And 
you will be um, you will be watching the other three parts of this vlog. I know it's gonna be a long one and it's gonna be a wild ride, but yeah. Hopefully I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye!